Podcast or a Benep or a Mesh, this is Lost and Me. This is a show we talk about all things past, present and potential future for Digital and Paris. Right. So this is something we've been planning to do in the in the works for quite some time now. We just haven't really seemed to be able to get around to it, you know, other stuff for the brands taking priority or we've been on the trip. Yeah. Um But we uh, we're finally getting around to it. So this is going to be an interesting talking point. So, cast your minds back to around about a few days before D23, when the rumour mill was, oh my god, was spinning with so many r- rumours or possibilities for for Disneyland Paris. Um, and so, they involving, obviously, the upcoming D- D- um, the expansion project. Um, and this really caught our eye, because, hmm... It concerns, obviously, land number three, which of course originally um, was supposed to be um, Star Wars, uh, uh, kind of like our own Birds of the Galaxy's Edge, but of course that's now been thrown into um, into jeopardy. And of course we've done a previous edition where we talked about um, trying to make the case of whether or not Star Wars land should stay or go. But um, but since then somebody's changed, changed. I I I have I have changed, changed shit. I now think scrap scrap, uh, Star Wars. Yeah yeah. What? I am shocked because you're the one who are that to say. Oh, it would look silly if we didn't do it. We'd appease to the Marvel fans. We're not appeasing the Star Wars, but it would just look silly. But I'm now. I've now changed, changed my tune. I'll explain why. Why? Uh, but I'll let you come back. Yeah, so the rumour was that the possibility that these love hearts were now considering of making land free either based on Avatar or The Lion King. Now, I am going to be doing a very special edition of OPP's Bridge where I'm going to make the case for The Lion King, but we're going to talk about this rumour as a whole to d- to today. We don't. Today. Now, normally we don't like to do rumours because. It's because they never really seem to be concrete, but given how the the whole this part of the expansion is up in the air, we thought may as well, and it and you never know this could maybe have substantial, but hmm, yeah. So, so Becky, do you want to make the case first as to why you are now against having our own version of Galaxy's Edge? Well, as we all know, in the American parks, it really did not work. Mm-hmm. It, it they failed. Massively, they bombed in 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 Anaheim, and they were slaughtered in Flo- in Florida. And we all know what who where JPEG laid the blame on that. Mm-hmm. Captain Powell, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, who probably would have been at the time a contender for this for this, for this year or something. Yeah, well, not now, not now. She's at Airbnb now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they went so bad. I'm like, do we really need there to be a third version of Galaxy's Edge? Because the idea would have been is we would have had a smaller ver- a version. Yeah, that was the uh, that was the idea. Given how much land we probably were going to have, the idea was probably going to be like a smaller, a small, a smaller version. So it just makes me wonder, is it really any point at all do, doing that as a whole when we've already got St- Star Wars having taken over Discovery Land in a way mm-hmm. because obviously. You've got Star Tours in there. You've got Space Mountain. They've got turned to Hyper Space Mountain. So Star Wars has kind of technically already invaded a land. It's just an it's just an unofficial land. So yeah, it's still technically Discovery Land, but most of it is. But Star Wars has slowly, bit by bit, taken over, taken over. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So there is, but there is Star Wars content in there. Whereas for these two potential IPs, there isn't anything in Paris, but. I would be with you. I would. I would say I would lean more towards doing at the line thing. It's so, it's so interesting because so it's right. You and we did. We did that. We did that episode show on Bells of the Case for why they should still go ahead with the, with, with Star Wars. You did say why well, it would be wrong for us to appease one one of the masses and not the other. So um, but yeah. So hmm. Now, of course, this is land for land free, which, of course, originally was supposed to be completed by 2025. Now, of course, we've got we've got no idea, thanks to COVID. 
Um, but I think we guessed possibly 28, 29, that sort of, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, we were guessing possibly 28 or 29, so by the end of the decade, de end of the decade. Mm -hmm. like, but like, later, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so really, you shouldn't really be having any, well, it's funny, you shouldn't really at this stage of the game, given that we know it's going to be later than normal, than the plan, you shouldn't really have any news about the third land at all, and yet this year we've had two big potential nuggets, the first being, of course, that the possibility of Star Wars not going to go ahead, mm -hmm. and then the second was this, and I think this is all we're going to have to go, we're going to have to go on for quite a while, because I don't think we're going to have have news for quite some time. Well, the priority right now should be on, be on, um, phase two, mm -hmm. which is the lake and the frozen land, especially if you've got no idea, is it going to be 24, is it going to be 25? We don't know. That should be the main priority in terms of news right now, but, mm. yeah, but you kind of got to start thinking ahead, well, well as soon as phase two is over, you're going to go, the, the focus then goes right in terms of the phase three, and if we see so far with phase two, construction's in the works, mm. just a base slow. Slow pace. So yeah, so this came from the W D W N T. Um So I brought Disney World News today. Yeah. Which does article on all various different um other than Doctor Six resorts. Um and I'll zoom in. So speculation course is ripe about now what that potential third land could be. Because do we think do we think Star Wars has still got a chance to get a look in? Maybe. I think it still could, but given what given what happened with the Galaxy Legends in both American parks, would it be wise to do a third version in Paris? Mm -hmm. When the scope might not be there, you can be there for it. Mm -hmm. for it. And given how it's probably going to be like a small, mm -hmm. a small like, version of it, is it really worth it? You might as well just go, well, let's do a different item. Yeah, so the two that were thrown into question were Avatar and The Lion King. Now, The Lion King, as we know, has done very, very well for Paris mm -hmm. over the years. It's had plenty of offerings. It's, it's always one of those. Whenever you try to create a recipe for a new Disneyland Paris parade, Lion King is always in there. A lot of Toy Story. Um, and, of course, in 2019, we had obviously the Lion King and Jungle Festival. Yeah, we had a stage beyond 2019. We even need to see it on our most recent trip. Um, so that has stayed on quite well. But what really has crossed, has, um, I actually think is quite interesting, is how. No the stick resorts actually has a proper Lion King land. But not worth the Lion King land. And that is what I think is quite quite shocking given the popularity and the longevity of Lion King that has actually been actually quite shocked me. And I think it would be a gold a gold mine. And I will go into more details on another opinion a special opinion village where I'm gonna take control. Um we might not be no you two not might not even be on it much me and I'm gonna take control and make my case as to why um you should do Lion King land, particularly for Paris. Um because we've, because I've moaned about, oh, doing Marvel Land, doing Star Wars Land, blah, 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 but they've already been doing the American parks, and, I, and of course, not, they're not Disney on them, but, give them so many other A, tra a trap. Just it, you, 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 for me, that is a gold mine. It would just, it would, would, would just be um, like the perfect gold mine, and I would love to go ahead with with this. It would be something different to have.
before Disneyland Paris. Yeah, and I think if you look at sort of what's, what some of the Asian parks there's like Shanghai with um with Zootopia, mm-hmm. um they're bringing in I think I think one of them might be doing Princess of the Frog as well. I can't remember which which one it is. Um, was it? Yeah, I think I think one of them is. Well, we know Zootopia is going to Shanghai. Yeah. Uh, Prince of the Frog, are you sure? I think, I think one is. I'll look it up. Oh, my confusion. I think you're confusing it with the, the Splash Mountain re-theme. ...in the future, but right now... ...be something different. Route. They've not got down the obvious Star, Star Wars route. Or is, oh, I think no, I think it's Tokyo. They've gone for. I could definitely look that up. Yeah. It's Anaheim, Oz, and I think it's Tokyo. That's what I mean. Spelling today. <laughs> oh, spell to do. Uh. So, bear me two seconds. Hong Kong. Oh, Hong Kong! Hong Kong's the other one. Right, so it's us, Anaheim, Hong Kong. Those are the two have got, have got Avengers Campus. Okay. Yeah, but it obviously... But with what this Shanghai is doing with Utopia, is it's offering a different IP, something new to the park that you wouldn't have seen anywhere else at all. Yeah, and I think for me that would be what we could do if we get if we got the Lion King land. Yeah, because that would be something unique to the park, something unique to our park, so we can say, well, look, this is what Paris is doing, and no one else has done it. But yeah. Or, or want to copy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it would just bring a different... It would just differentiate the park more from the others around the world. You know, giving... And that would give tourists a reason to travel. Like for, like what the Galaxy Edges was supposed to do for the American American parks. Yeah, and give... Yeah, and give people a reason to write, Oh, Galaxy Edges in these two parks. I'm going to go over there and probably not leave anyone else. Robert, yeah. But if we put a line in, like, similar to kind of a few years' time, with for Hong Kong and Frozen and us, people are going to want to travel because much so to more because they've got Frozen lands. Yeah. So if we were to put a line in, land in that would give people a reason to want to come to us more than go to the others because you wouldn't be able to find this in the others. You'd be able to find line in in the other parks, but to actual actual land, that would be in ours. And gold mine. Gold mine, exactly. Um, and, um, and you could just think of the different types of things you could come up with. Yeah, you could def- You could really- that, that would- I feel like it would, would give you more opportunity to think of diff- Think of what you put- what you, you'd want to put in it Compared to Avatar Because if you go down the Avatar route, then basically- Give it a hand. 
on with what? Well, Yeah, it's easy to blow, blow things out of the water with Florida, but, but uh, I'm just, but I remember watching something eh, can't do that. <laughs> no, can't, can't, you can't do that, that for us. No, you're going to have to, do, for us it would have to be something low, bu low budget, mm -hmm. and probably in the small side. Yeah, so, yeah, but for the Lion King you'd have more opportunity. What is in Pandora? Can we just look? Um, so currently in Pandora, there are two attractions, and that's all. Oh, yeah, two attractions in Pandora. So you've got Avatar: Flight of Passage and the Barney River Journey, and then you've got some entertainment in there. You've got um. And restaurants and shops. So basically, like what um, the idea is for our lands in the expansion project. Yeah, two bit attractions, one e ticket, one one family friendly. Yeah, you park up a restaurant, you come a shop, learn to tell the area, da ba ba bum dum. <laughs> and yet, you still blow the, blow the budget out of the water on making, on making it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you were to go down the Lion King route, You'd have more creativity for attractions. You could think more about what kind of attractions you want to put in, and it would be a much lower thing. Whereas with Avatar, we can have a bit more to that. With Avatar, you simply would have to do what the plan would have been for Star Wars, which is you take a successful land in Amer American Park and you. Which then begs the question of why did you not not do Galaxy's Edge over? Excellent, yeah. So I, th I think, pa think the possibility of Avatar being there just shoots, it just shoots our imagination in the foot. Because it's basically, well, why did you then go with that rather than what you were really going to do for, going to do what probably would be at the time. God. Yeah, I did. Um, but no, no, I, I see Mickey's point. I do, I do, because obviously, yeah, because obviously, the idea for our Star Wars line was that it was, it, it was going to be a smaller version of Galaxy's Edge. If you bring Avatar in instead, you kind of got to do a smaller version of Pandora. But that's in Florida, so it does beg the question. As Mickey said, well, that's why did you then, uh, then go that route when originally you go down that, that route? All you're going to do is just replicate what was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, and. What I found really, really interesting when I heard heard this this um, was that apparently Avatar is quite successful in France. Yeah, that, that was a that was a that was a shock. I mean, Avatar when the first one came out all those years ago. <laughs> I was the only nerd in my to my to create the second. The second Avatar, and they've still got lots of other sequels in the making as well. Now, how many, how many does it take to make an Avatar film? Because oh my, yeah, because it's been a lengthy gap between. If I look, if I look it up. Seems we brought Pandora into the mix. Look it up. So the first one came out in was it was it late noughties? two thousand seven two thousand eight or. Uh yeah. It was late noughties. Came back, oh, oh, 2009! Wow! Right, so late no so late noughties. I was starting my brand back then. Uh, yeah, 2000, 2009. First piece of contact created with you, it sounds. God. 13, so 13 years! 13 years. Wow. Okay, Uh. Okay, so the first. Sorry, so the first one came out in 2009. The second one is about to come out, or depending on when this gets released, has come out. Uh... And there's loads still planned. I mean, look at this. You've got. There's, there's at least five Avatar planned. Or. The first one came out in 2009, the second one's come out in 2022, 
and then they're thinking of doing three, four, and five, release them out in a t in two year gap. So I'm top. No, nah, not gonna ever do that. Do that. No. <laughs> no. So say I was talking about in 2024. So after you guys Olympics, I was talking. Yeah, so yeah, so it, it, it has been quite popular. Um, it's been on the article on Johnny T. It says that Avatar was the eighth most seen film in box office history in France. Okay, so what would that mean in terms of point is that? Well, it would mean that it is well known. So it's not like your 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 cheap and IP that's not well known to the French. You just bung it in because it's going to make you lots of. Lots of money and would get, and probably would get a great increase of guest flow, like with the marble stuff. It's not that. It is actually well known in France uh, by the local audience, because obviously that's where the majority of the holidaymakers come from, from, yeah, in with Paris. Um, now, of course, it's unclear, obviously, for that. Would you, be, would you simply be like us, we've already talked about, a, a small version of Pandora, which then would be the fair question, why would you do that? Over Star Wars, <laughs> shoot, shoot yourself in the, self in the front, yep. Um, or would you do something small, like, yeah, um, or you, you could do some, some, something new with it, you could, but you haven't got, I think the, the terms of scope, you, you wouldn't have that much for Avatar, you would for The Lion King. Now, I, I agree. I think you need to just do a more piece of what you want to do in terms of the attractions. <laughs> Lavatar, no, you have to either you do you do one big e ride or you do a small version of World of, Pan of Pandora. But there again, it, it then begs, as Mickey said, best question of why I do that. Over Star Wars, over Star Wars, yeah, 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 um, yeah. So, hmm. Yeah, but those are the two that are apparently being considered as potential uh, alternatives should Star Wars get the sticky home. Now, what's interesting is we've not actually heard official word, and we're probably not going to do for do for a few years now. We've still yet to have official word that Galaxy's Edge has been given the heave ho. It's been scrapped, but you're not. But Mickey's now more com convinced. Actually, well, I I just think. It would probably be better if you would go something different rather than go ahead and produce a third incarnation of a land that you know has failed. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think some of the Star Wars fans might be like, "Well, I'm sorry, it's failed." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It it failed. It abs. Guys, he said, absolutely failed. It flopped. A massive disaster. And look what it did to poor Catherine Power. Cost her. Costa dearly. Costa that big. Costa dearly. And straight away, Chapek went, stabbed him in the back. <sighs> We've already talked about how he's not friendly with women. It's about, yeah, we can we, we won't go further than that now. Stabbed in the back. Yeah. Um, but it was a fact. So why give us a, give a, do a third incarnation anywhere in the other, other four resorts? That's America's mess. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, now you're going. No, I'm sorry. Gas is head. That is America's mess. Therefore, it should be contained in America and not spread. A bit like a virus. Yeah. Not spread into on into the others. That is my. Okay. So I've, my 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 stance has changed, but I'm now thinking ahead of. Well, given how it fails in America, I would rather have a new land and see how the reaction goes with that, rather than just go. Something the Americans did, because let's face it, but his campus flopped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, 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 yeah, it has. Yeah, yeah, the um, yeah. In terms, as me and Sweetheart did already mention, 
well, we did our first recce video uh, for Dodo Two. The execution was eight was was done well, but the but the um of the theme was done well, but the quality not so great. Nobody likes Flight Force. No. Nope. Um, Web Slingers. I'm not too sure of the reaction to that, but I think that. But um, there's just not much to it. Yeah, not much to it. Not much to it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I think of the two, I would prefer to have. I'll ask you two in a moment to think on what you what you would want to do if you have to between these two. Um, so if that, can we also lay down his eggs on the table as well? Okay, fine. Of the three possibilities for land three, um, I would probably want to go with Lion King. Not just I love the franchise, but I think because the, there is so much opportunity there to create a really, really, really great land, and it would be something new. And it would be something pass exclusive. Like Rattus of Evil was before the Americans got whiffed, whiffed and thought, that really works, let's copy it. And copy it for every single detail. Not looking forward to that virtual park episode. Are you still going to deal with it? Yeah. Because it's, yeah. But not looking forward to it. Just bring a meal out, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. But I think having a line kit would be perfect. It would be our big gold dust opportunity to have something exclusive for Paris that none of the other resorts would have and would get the punters work for us because you, you would be able to find this in our life. Yeah. So I would say the Lion King would be the one you should go with. What about you two just sort of fish off uh, the show for today? What would you... Oh, so, so can we, you can help, you can throw it, you want to say Galaxy's Edge, you want to still hold the torch for Star Wars, but you can say like you want to, but I'll just say, of those three possibilities, what, what would you prefer to have, would you prefer, uh, hmm. it, it's, it's tricky, because obviously we don't, we don't know if this is for certain, and they could maybe even do a curveball and go for one, Something that isn't one, I think. Yeah, do something completely different, so tricky. But I think I probably still would like. To, I still think the expansion should have been as it was. Really? Yeah. So you still. Well, they announced in 2018, these were the plans, and everybody would have gone into that expecting, right, well, this is what we should be. It should be Marvel, Crows, and Star Wars. Doesn't matter where they come, no, it should be these three. So I'm going to have to. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to say. I still think, I know you've moved on from it, I know you probably aren't going to hear Eve anymore. Oh, but, um, well, I think you asked me out of the two, which would I prefer not to have a land in Paris, I would say Marvel. I would I would prefer to have had a Star Wars and Frozen land, and then you do something different, but we can't be too late now. The foundations, it's already been built, Marvel. Okay, I've been yeah. No, I still would say, do you guys yeah, but I can see why you wouldn't go with it. Mickey? Well, obviously, I'm not, not, well, I've, I've made myself very, very clear, I'm not saying Galaxy's Edge. I think that's America's problem, it's America's disease, contain it in America, don't spread it across the other resorts. When did, did, did colds and sneezes and energy come into this? Well, I'm just saying, when, when did we go into that energy? What would, what would you say? I would probably be more with you, I would probably would want a Lion King land in there. Just so we can have something unique and something different and be like what Shanghai's doing. Because nowhere in the world well, is going to do Zootopia Land. Mm. Nowhere in the world is doing Zootopia Land. So I think it would be like this. So I think for us, to have Lion King Land would be like our version of Shanghai's Zootopia. It would be something exclusive, something new, something exciting, unique and... Okay, interesting. interesting. So interestingly, no one said do on um, Avatar. Well, there's no point now, because there's no point. Because if, if you do Avatar, it sh you shoot yourself in the foot. Because basically, you would have to exactly the idea would be for Galaxy's Edge to do a small version of what's already there, and then you go, well, what was the point? Why did you just change IPs? You should have stuck with, with you should have what the resource said, just stuck with doing Galaxy's Edge. Okay, interesting, very interested there. So, like I say, I am planning a special edition of a and Bitch where I'm going to lay the case as to why they should go with Lion King. I'm not sure if you two are going to come on or not. I'm going to go rogue. I'm going to go rogue. <laughs> on my own. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so keep an eye out for that. So get to 
So get subscribed to the channel now, and then you won't miss out when it comes out. So yeah, so, so there is going to be one of the part where I'm going to lay the case as to why they should go ahead and do Liking Lamb. But we'll wait, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. And I don't think we're going to have any news for quite some time. I think probably we won't get news on Land Free until probably... Probably when we're near completing Phase 2. Yeah, so that probably will be maybe early 24, 2025. So, but, well, it's good to, to, to get to do the speculation now. Then when we come back in the future, we can do another bit and go, Oh, well, actually, it's da 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 we all we were all pretty wrong. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, absolutely. But, but well, that, but good work for today, my friends. Thank you so much for joining us for today's show. If you've loved it, do click the like button. If you're not subscribed to the chat, can make sure you do subscribe. Don't want to ask guy. You never see what way you can collect any of the Disneyland Meat Rubber It's with Virtual Park or Pinion Village. Uh, you can ring the bell, so do all those comments, and my YouTube channel is at George Han. Until next time, also for us, there's Mercy for our guy, Juice Control Attack. Au revoir!